Hello and welcome back to another video with me, Rusty. I hope you guys are well and that you enjoyed part seven. Um, this is part eight, so we're following directly on from uh, the last video. So if you guys have watched that, um, you know, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Those things really do help out the channel and do they mean the world to me as well. So. Yeah, we're just going to jump straight into this because we're going to finish off um, the da -da 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 Soldier of Fortune agent today. We've got three missions um, left to do. So we're just going to crack on and get these done and then we're going to probably start the uh, one of the industrialists. Uh, the, the industrialists, basically one of these will give you the ventures. You'll do stuff with the ventures, which is the mining stuff. And the other one will actually tell you how to It'll go over a bit of hauling and haulers. So get get some ships, which is the main thing to take away from it, is you actually get some ships that you can use um, once you've done these missions. Um, so obviously we're going to finish the Soldier Fortune, we'll do one of the Industrialists, then we'll do the Enforcer, which is where we'll get the Merlin. And I think I, um, a uh, Cormorant as well, which is great, because we can use that to do the Sister of, uh, Sister of Ease Arc quest line uh, and then we'll finish off the last industrialist but let's get on with uh, this guy we'll get him finished um, and then we'll go from there so we have to acquire hostages and drop them off at this location so okay we're going to accept that we're going to Make sure our ship is still fitted. Right, okay, so the ship is still fitted. Um, while you're here, if you want to just redrop the um, uh, missiles in, it'll reload it for you quickly here. So just drag and drop them over there. Um, in the last video, we did damage a hull of our ship. So if you want to repair it, um, there is an icon over here called Repair Shop. So if you click that, it will tell you everything that... Uh, uh, that you can repair. So we just want to select this ship, repair item. It tells you how much damage. So we took, yeah, that much damage. Normally there is a, f uh, a repair fee associated with it, but because obviously it's a training error and it's a Corvette, they don't charge you. So just click repair all, and then you are done. Um, so yeah, we picked on the mission. We've got our gun and rocket. Oh, missile launcher, I should say. Um, we do have our afterburner fit. Yes, we do. Great, cool. So we're going to undock and go. Uh, again, apologies if my voice still sounds strange. I'm literally recording this straight after um, the last video, so I'm still getting over this horrible, horrible man flu. But uh, I hope you guys are keeping well and that you're not. Uh, Suffering from uh, the man flu like we like I am, but yeah, I hope you're keeping well and uh, staying safe. So yeah, if if you guys can let me know what you're uh, particularly enjoying about the videos, if anything. Um, if there's things I can do to help improve, um, you know, anything like that, just uh, let me know. I'm, I'm uh, more than open to suggestions and ideas. Um, right, so we've got this wonderful message from Concord. Um, not to engage unless I give you the order. Okay, yeah, so basically don't attack anything. We're just going to get the hostages. So that is that. If you want to read all that, obviously go ahead, you read all of it, I'm pretty certain we're just going to fly in there. Concord are going to show up, looking all menacing. Uh, and then we'll scoop, we'll fly in, we'll, we'll swoop in, that's what I was wanting to say. Grab the hostages and then we'll be on our way. Got loads of rewards to claim here, let's get them claimed. Oh, 
guys. We dropped us so far away from the gate this time. Unbelievable. Here we go. Wee. So they're going to re re relocate them to the prison facility. We should then go up there and uh, yeah, charge towards that prison, get them, and do not fire on anyone or anything. Your objective is to secure and rescue because we're boring right uh, prison facility let's go open go 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 again you hold left mouse if you want to use the wheel or you can right click and um, open cargo let me know if you're a uh, if you're a wheel person or a right click kind of person. I'm a bit half and half. I predominantly use the wheel, but there are certain things that I will use the right the right click button for. Um, mainly orbiting. Brilliant! That was awesome. We crashed into the uh, station. Hope no one saw that. Just uh, whoop de doo. Loot them all and dock up. Gonna drive active. Bounce around like a crazy pirate. Uh, pirate? <laughs> we're not a pirate, we're a capsuleer. Crazy pilot is what I was going to say. Turning off the afterburner would have helped there, actually. And away we go, there we go. Well transporting this valuable cargo love it docking permission requested Nice slow dock. Love it. Docking request accepted. Start conversation. Complete mission. We'll get the next one. Okay, so we're going to corner a pirate and interrogate them. So we're going to get a web of fire. So accept this. Close this. Go to here. Go to your shipping window, item hanger, drag and drop, that's all you need. Close, close, undock. Uh, warp to site. So there's nothing to these missions really, this is pretty much all the agent missions are. You, you just, do some very simple things. They introduce you to some of the basic um, controls of your ship and all that kind of stuff. So, if you're following along, great. And um, my apologies for the, um, you know, slow up times, um, uploads, and stuff like that. Um, like I've said before, I'm currently restricted recording two videos at a time. Um, because of my hard drive limitations currently, but um, going to hopefully look to improve that soon. I want to approach him, burn towards him with your afterburner on. Um, anyway, yeah, uh, hopefully I'm going to try and get that sorted soon so I can get some more, some more videos recorded, and I can get. Um, more videos uploaded for you. So yeah, if you're following along, 
appreciate it. It's absolutely brilliant that you're doing that. Um, you know, if you, you're free to <laughs> obviously jump jump ahead. And if you get stuck on anything, then obviously you can just come back and find a video that might have what the part where you're stuck. Um, or, you know, feel free to just sling me a message in the chat, in the uh, comments, and I'll, uh, I'll do what I can to answer. So we've got to be within 10 kilometers to activate this, so we're just going to keep burning towards him. And then once we hit 10 kilometers, we will activate it. There we go. So as I'm standing down, I'm going to core operate. Just let me live. Now, last time we did something like this. Yeah, this is like the second mission we've done that's along all these lines. Okay, so yeah, we're just going to dock up. Drive active. Yeah. We tried to destroy him and he, he wouldn't let us destroy him, so we wasted like. I mean, I did put a note in that video saying don't bother trying to attack him because you can't. Um, but uh, we're not going to waste it, waste our time with this one. We're literally just going to do that part and move on because we've got one more mission and we're done with him. station oh also um, let me know if you would be interested in um, any kind of stream whether it be on YouTube um, or Twitch because uh, that might be another way to try and actually uh, if you want to get involved with some of the more the more advanced stuff that I'm doing um, like on the main, my main character on this account. Um, like I said, we we pulled back um, half a billion's worth of isk um, today, posh for hauling it. So if you want to see that kind of stuff, then uh, maybe a stream would be uh, more ideal for that. So let me know if that's something you guys would be interested in, uh, in watching or joining in, or you know, because. That's a, a lot of good fun there. Um, so we've got our last and final mission. We're going to be granted a uh, Cormorant as a reward. Um, and we're going to be given Kaldari Destroyer as the... Um, to be able to fly the Cormorant. So now we need this to be able to fly it. So we're going to accept this. Delete that. Do that. Eject this. I just want to see if we did actually. No, we didn't get it. Cool. So, uh, yeah, we're all fit. This is all fine. So, we now got to go to a different place, which is fine because it's going to tell us how to get there. So, we're going to do some jumping. If you remember way back on like video two or three, we, we go through how to jump. But it doesn't even look like we need to jump, we're just going to a site. Um, but yeah, let me know if you want me to do any streaming. Um, whether on YouTube or um, on Twitch, I can kind of sort that out if, you, if that's something you'd be interested in. I've got to tell you, time sure flies when you're recording videos. You don't realise how much... How much time goes by when you're just doing basic stuff? Okay, so we've got to kill three, three baddies. Uh, there we go. Lock them up. Missiles are 19, so we can actually open fire on that. 
We're gonna go for the leader first, because... He's our main target, but we might struggle here. So we can't warp away, because he's got us scrammed, he's got a warp structure on. Wow, okay. That was interesting. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember having that much trouble. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Right, so I'm going to have to board my Corvette, obviously, because I've just lost mine. Um, yeah, let me... Uh, Let me go away and think about this for a second. Right, sorry about that. So, um, I've come back with a... Um, a Merlin fit that will hopefully do the job for us. So, um, it's a bit of a jump ahead in what we're actually going to be doing. I think we've done this in slightly the wrong order. We should, probably should have done the Enforcer agent first and then this one because we would have been given a corvette uh, not a corvette sorry a cormorant and possibly the merlin uh hull as well so maybe we should have done the enforcer first i guess we'll find out when we uh get round to to doing that one but i've gone ahead and brought the merlin here um and i fitted it with some ion face cannons um with tungsten armor, um, ammo, <coughs> ammunition, sorry, excuse me. We've got some uh, magnetic field stabilizers, uh, damage control one, just to just help bring up our resistances. Uh, we've got an afterburner one, uh, multi spectrum shield hardener one, uh, stasis webifier one, and a small cap battery just to keep us all cap stable. We do have antimatter in the hold as well um, for a bit more DPS that when we get a bit closer basically we need to try and get in as fast as we can and, and um, stop him from being able to deal that kind of damage to us so um, if this works this will be linked in the description below so you can just copy and paste it in it's half a million so um, it's not too much to, to, to refit out um, so but we'll go see how uh, how well it does The good thing is, is we can actually fly this with our current skill set as well. Drive so, active. Uh, I'm going to group all my guns up, so just move them to one. If you want to do that, just move them into one stack. So yeah, this will give us a bit more armor resistance. We've moved away from the civilian stuff as well, so we've actually got a proper 
Uh, let's go. Let's turn that on. Yeah, we're capstated with everything running, so we should be okay. So we're burning in nice and quick. We're going to put the web on him now, and we're going to start attacking. So we're doing better damage now. Actually, I'm going to switch out to my antimatter charges now. So stop firing, switch out to antimatter. So we go close, so we're going to do some more damage now. Right, now we can focus on these guys, so we're just going to orbit at this. We're going to come back for his wreck as well. Hopefully, we can find our wrecks. Got to get in nice and close with this fit. This guy, burn towards him. Keep this running, do not turn it off. Get the web on him. Turn this off now and start firing. Okay, yeah, so this mission is a bit more demanding and the um, previous ones, so you might actually have to use this fit if you want to uh, if you want to get past it. Um, so something just to bear in mind. So we can actually go to our wrecks. Actually, let's get the team leader wreck first. So that was his. Now we're going to go go our Rex, so we can hopefully get some of our loot back. Yeah, unfortunately, I came out in here in another fit that didn't quite work. So uh, this is take two for me, well, take three technically, so hopefully take two for you. Um, this isn't a bad fit to get into because we can use this moving forward as well. Um, this will help us with the, the Enforcer missions, so it's not a bad investment for half a million. Um, you should be able to buy everything from the... Um, the home station that you're at here, so... Drive active. We're gonna dock up, complete this mission, and um, probably call that a wrap. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, even, even, you know, guys who've been playing it for a long time, well, I say a long time, I've already been playing it for a couple of years, so, you know, there's people out there way longer than me, but, um, yeah. Even I get caught out by uh, by things now and again, so there's a lesson learned. 
Uh, so do as I say, not as I do, as they as they say. Um, so I'll just get in the station. We'll go over this fit one more time. Uh, so yeah, it's just don't worry about this because that's to do with the uh, some of the loot here is to do with this target uh, painter here, which we don't need to worry about. So yeah, you're gonna need probably need. I mean, you might be lucky and you might be able to do it in 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 the Corvette. I doubt it. You'll probably need to get the Merlin, which is the frigate, um, get it equipped up. And uh, so yeah, like I said, this fit is running um, regulated ion, light ion phase on cannons. We've got three of them with antimatter and tungsten charges. Uh, a one. MN Afterburner 1, Multispectrum Shield Hardener 1, Status Weber Fire 1, um, and a small cap battery to keep us stable. We're running two Magnetic Field Stabilizer 1s and a Damage Control Unit just to help bring up our resistances as, uh, as well. We've not bothered fitting any rigs at the moment, um, but uh, we can do if we need to uh, later on. Um, but we've got this ship now, it's fit out already, so if you manage to do the mission without without dying like I did twice, not once, but twice, you didn't see the second one because, uh, yeah, there's no point you showing that because it's just me wasting money, um, which you don't need to do. So if you go ahead and get this and you pilot the way I did, as in you just orbit in, burn in as fast as you can, put the web on. You can use tungsten if you want to do damage while you're getting in there, so from about 5,000 meters. And then when you get nice and close, you can switch to antimatter. Just remember when you want to switch, if you want to switch to antimatter, you have to stop firing, right click the weapon, and then reload to antimatter. It'll take a bit of time to reload, and then you can start firing again. Um, in that time, you can just stay in closer orbit to him, and he shouldn't be able to do that much damage to you. Um, I suppose I should quickly cover how you can use this import this fit. So in the description below there will be this fit linked. All you need to do is um, copy it into your clipboard. So I'm going to click copy to clipboard here and then basically what you do on 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 the description select all of every select everything copy it coming back into game open your ship window fittings import and you go import from clipboard you'll have this pop up so you can name it to whatever you want here as well so you can name it here and then you go simulate which will bring up this screen you can then go save as it takes you back to this here basically but you can go save um, and then once you've got it saved it'll be listed like here and then if you just right click this and you go buy all now I bought the last of these regulated ion phase on cannons from this station so if you have anything that looks like this you can't buy it from the station um, I'm sure that there'll be other things you can put in in its place if you need to. If if you if you get stuck, then just please send me um send me a, a comment and I'll I'll put I'll probably put in some recommendations for replacements as well. Um, but then you'll get basically the shopping cart here. So everything you've got here, as long as you don't have anything red like this, you can buy it all from the station. Just click buy, and then once you've bought it, everything will be put in your hangar. All you have to do then will be to come over, right click, go multi fit. This will all, this will change to one, uh, and then this will be highlighted for, what, and you'll have one here. Just click fit ships, and then it will fit. It will basically fit it for you, and and you'll be good to go. You just need to then double click into it, and then you can. Uh, crack on and hopefully get that mission done. Um, speaking of getting that mission done. Let's hand over and complete that mission. So that is the Soldier of Fortune questline done. We do now have a new Cormorant. 
which is a uh, destroyer which I'm gonna have to train into so make sure you add this to your queue and then uh, get that trained, it only takes 7 minutes, 17 minutes I'll have to pause my other training queue to get that done but you won't have that issue but um, anyway at the end of this video you'll have completed the soldier of fortune agent line you would have got yourself either a very nice starter Merlin this will go on for the rest of the missions we won't have any issues with this I know the enforcer missions don't self-destruct ships so you don't have to worry about losing this um, and it's a good little starter ship just to get get you around the place as well so it's not a bad investment it's just a bit earlier than what we were anticipating so um, yeah I'm gonna end the video here now um, I don't know how long this is in because I've, I've been recording for a little while now but uh, I hope you enjoyed it um, not the most smooth sailing mission um, but that's how things go you have to learn adapt and overcome things uh, to make progress um, if you get stuck please ping me a comment um, down below in the video uh, and I will I'll do my best to respond and help you as I can if not then there are loads of websites that will tell you how to do um, what, you, what you need to fit and where to do and if you really get stuck you can actually ask in rookie help here and just say I'm stuck on mission 10 of this can you recommend a fit for it if you're struggling like I said this one will do it you just got to get in close and you'll be able to smash him and get it done but um, Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave that there because my throat is about to give out on me. But, um, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave it a comment, um, give it a like, and, um, yeah, if you can, subscribe. Like I said, all of this stuff helps the channel out, and um, I'm greatly appreciative of the time and um, any of those things you may do. So, until the next time, guys, stay safe, fly safe, and I'll catch you in the next one.